Well, I just bought yet another very inexpensive BMW E46. This time it is a sedan, not a wagon, but it is a manual. And it's also a sport package, which is kind of cool. Also has a couple other neat things done, like it's got the later model radio from a 2002 or newer with the aux input. It's got the chrome rings on the gauge cluster, which actually looks pretty good. Um, but it has no working headlights. I don't know if any of the rear lights work. Um, pretty much nothing else works properly. Uh, check engine light on for who knows what, brake pad sensor lights on, steering wheels crooked, suspension feels like it's on cheap coilovers or it's really worn out stock suspension. Um, things like sagging A-pillar, really, really common for E46s. But um, the biggest thing I've noticed so far, uh, they said it has a brand new clutch and I didn't even ask why they were getting rid of it, but this has, being a 323, uh, 323s and 325s have Getrag 250 transmissions in manual flavor, and they are terrible transmissions. So this was like a 15-year-old kid that had this car, learned how to drive manual on it, and tore it up. So to get into first gear at a stop, you have to very, very slowly push this thing into first because the synchro is gone. The synchro in second is pretty much gone. Uh, shifting into fifth is tough because the linkage is just so toast. So it's going to need a trans, but that's fine. I've got a whole bunch of Getrag 250s. They're really easy to replace on these cars. All the bolts are very easy to get to. Not worried about that, but honestly, it drives pretty nice. It came with the, well, a stock set of 16-inch wheels, not the right 16s for a sport, uh, sport package, uh, with winter tires. And then it also came with, uh, I can't show them to you right now because they're in the back seat, but they're like... Uh, F10 M5 replica-ish 18 or 19 inch wheels with some good tires so uh, that's pretty good value but I'm actually pretty excited this thing has winter tires on it if it has current tabs too uh, I'll be able to street park it without any issue we have good drivers here don't worry about it but anyway yeah I bought another cheap BMW this one capped out at a whopping $350 <laughs> it's just nuts clean title BMW, actually pretty clean body, two sets of wheels and tires, manual, sport package. This one's probably worth fixing. Like I said, really not too bad. I don't know, we'll see. So today, I've actually got to pull the winter wheels and tires off this new black E46 and swap them with the wheels and tires on the blue E46 wagon, which, because of a snow emergency, parked on my yard. <laughs> so I'm going to shovel a little bit of snow off these guys. Um, then I probably have to pull, well, maybe I'll shovel a little bit, pull the black one up here too and the wagon up here and I have to do the switcheroo. This is why I handle chargers. Oh, I've only uh, started this car once ever. That was easy. Crank up the temperature as far as she'll go. And rear defrost. Okay. Move it a little bit. Oh. I'm actually gonna try to go down to the street in this thing, turn it around, and pull back on up uh, where the E90 normally is. Let's see if she'll move. Oh, that's where the transmission's just garbage in this thing. No problem. Gotta love winter tires. <clears throat> oh, I smell that clutch already. I think this thing has got a really cheap aftermarket clutch in it. Anti-lock works. It's pretty cool. This thing is just totally dragging ass right now. Tires are really good. The straight is just sheet ice. Pretty okay, have to say, not terrible. 
This car is extremely bouncy. That's where she was sitting. Um, no parking brake. I'm going to need to wheel chug this one. Yeah, I think I have to shut it off for right now. I am. Now it fired right up, so I'm not too worried about it. So this thing was on a tender. Oh God, that thing's low. Um, we'll see how the non-battery tendered wagon fared. <clears throat> well, it unlocks, that's good. <clears throat> quite the angle. This is about how we're actually sitting. What a magnificent machine this thing is. Oh no! Sorry, filming's not, not great. I'm gonna try to do it right here. We'll see what happens. Guess I'll just leave this thing running. Extra heat. Well, the 323 now looks like a ZHP and the wagon looks like the wagon again. Shop this thing in the street, pumped up the tire. Whoa! This thing's got ballsy wipers. E46s usually have totally crap wipers. Just trying to get the snow off. Say, this really is a snazzy looking machine. Black on black with the M Tech two wheels on it. And it starts so nice too. Backing over quite the pile of snow from this thing's trunk. suspension is just totally collapsed on this thing. I think those excise tires might actually be a little bit better. So now I gotta line up where this thing was. Get it back in there. Sorry for the videography. It is unbelievably tough to drive a manual, not crash into stuff, and record at the same time. 